Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a first video in a series that I'm going to be doing for the rest of this week until Saturday, which are all to do with holidays. As some of you will probably already know, I've just been to Mykonos in Greece for 10 days and I filmed a couple of videos whilst I was out there and then I've also got a few to slot in here and there that are travel and holiday themed. So the first one today is going to be what's in my travel makeup bag and also I'm going to go through my skincare and body care and stuff like that. This might be a little bit of a long video, we'll have to see, I'll try not to talk too quickly. Um, I think first I'll go through my skincare. So I took this wash bag with me, which is from The White Company. I got it for Christmas last year, and it's blue and white stripes with a blue star on here. The first things that are on the top are the cotton wool double-faced oval pads, which I take everywhere with me. I use these for um, my toner whilst I was away and also cleansing water, so those were in there. The cleanser that I took away with me was the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Butter and I love this, I've spoken about it before in videos, I just find it the best cleansing butter that I've ever tried and it's really slim so easy to travel with and gets rid of all the makeup no matter whether it's waterproof or not. The next thing I have in my wash bag is the Venus Travel Size Razor which came out this year I think. It's just this teeny tiny razor and it's great for travelling, it's really easy to use and I did think it was maybe a bit of a faff and not really necessary but it actually is really good that it comes in this little case and um, you can just pop it in your bag and it, there's no mess or anything and it's easy to take away with you so I am actually really happy that I got this. Next I have a necessity that I take with me whenever I go to a hot country and it's the Repel Light Fragrance Mosquito Midgy Bite kind of preventer thing. Um, this basically, I didn't use that much whilst we were away because thankfully there weren't that many midges where we were or anything like that so I didn't use a lot of it but I just always have something like this because I get bitten so much in hot countries but luckily this time I didn't. I also took with me my Garnier micellar water because I had a little travel size bottle, I love this one. Next I'm going to talk about the shampoo and conditioner that I took with me and um, I actually used some of this up whilst I was away and then and bought all the empty bottles back to show you all. So um, I first took the Peter Thomas Roth shampoo and conditioner with me, which I had two little travel sizes like this. My hair felt really soft after I'd used this, but I wouldn't, I don't think I'm gonna purchase the full size bottles. It didn't blow me away and I think they are quite expensive. I also took away with me the Aussie Three Minute Miracle Reconstructor Conditioner. Again, this is just a little travel size. I love the smell of Aussie products and I love this deep conditioner. You basically only need to leave it on your hair for about three minutes for it to work. It's not one of those that you have to leave it on for 10 minutes and um, I just love it. I love the smell and it was just a lifesaver for those days where I could feel my hair was getting quite dry. For shower gel I took the Soap and Glory Clean On Me shower gel and this was just a little travel size again. We nearly used this all up, there's not that much left in it and I love the Soap and Glory scents. It's just really easy, nothing too special, um, did the job and just really handy to have it in travel size. To go alongside the Repel spray I also had the Bite and Sting hydrocortisone cream from Boots and I had a couple of bites that I'd got whilst we were here so I took this and I was using this on those bites but I didn't as I said get any bites while we were out there thankfully but um, I just always have some of this around the house just in case because it just helps relieve the heat from a midgy bite and also it stops it from itching so much which is a little bit gross but these things happen Tweezers, a must, just in case you've got one of those unruly hairs that you need to get rid of. And also some plasters, just in case my shoes rubbed on any days and I needed them. And then the last bits of skincare, I took my Benefit It's Potent Eye Cream because this is a tiny mini jar. And then I also have the Sanctuary Spa Purifying Toner, which I got for my birthday off one of Tom's sisters, I think. And this is really, really nice. And the last thing that I've got is a moisturiser. This is the Pie Chamomile and Rose Hip Calming Day Cream. And I thought this was a good one to take. I had a little travel size one of it in my like travel size drawer. And I thought this would be really good as it is a calming day cream. And if I was gonna be in the sun all day, it would be nice to have something that would just help reduce the redness and just soothe the skin. And this was a really nice uh, moisturiser. It, kind of sinks in really well to the skin, it didn't feel greasy or anything like that. The only thing I didn't like 
is the smell of it. Um, it's got such a strange, strange smell. And I, I'm not sure if it, I think it, it might just be the mixture of the chamomile and the rose hip, but it just really put me off. So with regards to suntan lotion, we took three bottles with us. And the first one is the Nivea Sun Protect and Bronze 30 High Face Cream. And this we basically got just to use on our face. It's more of a thick cream and it worked wonders. Neither of us got burnt on our faces. I just had to reapply it a couple of times throughout the day. And this one and also this bottle, which is the, again, the Protect and Bronze Suntan Lotion from Nivea, but this one is the 20. This is their new tan activating protecting oil. I honestly don't think that I would be as brown as I am now if I hadn't have used this. We also took out with us the Protect and Refresh Invisible Cooling Sun Spray and this was in 30. So for the first couple of days I used the 30 just while I was getting used to the sun and then after that I went on to the 20 and let Thomas finish off this bottle. I've never been as brown as I am now and I don't know if it looks like I'm that brown but for me I am brown. My tan lines are impressive. Okay let's move on to makeup. I took this Victoria Green makeup bag which it zips open it's got two handles and then it zips open and then you've got two compartments like this which you can see are very full and then this one at the top and then a little hanger if you want to hang it up while you're there i absolutely love the victoria green bag so i've got a few bits in here that aren't actually makeup and um, just because i needed the space when i was packing and I took with me the Bronze Goddess perfume by Estee Lauder and this is kind of, everyone says how it's a really summertime scent so I wanted to take it with me just to, so that it would remind me of that holiday when we came back and this is so gorgeous, it's such a gorgeous scent and it really smells like suntan lotion so, but in a nice way, it's really nice and sweet and coconutty, very fresh and I love this. I took with me the Colab Sheer Invisible Dry Shampoo as well because I just like this to kind of zhuzh up my hair and add volume and also work as a dry shampoo. I did tend to wash my hair most days because I'd been in the pool um, but this was just great to have and it's nearly all gone. I also took the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Set spray which I did use quite a bit whilst we were out so there. The bronzer that I took away with me was the Benefit Hula which is one of my all-time favourite bronzers. I also took out with me my collection, um, the is it the Collection Glow palette, the highlighter, but it smashed on the way there so I used it like while we were there, just dabbed my brush into all the broken pieces but then I thought there was no point in bringing it home with me so I left that out there and I'm going to get a new one ASAP because I love it. Um, but I also took with me my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Natural Powder. I love this. This obviously was not a very good idea on my part to take because yes it's a great powder, it makes my skin look flawless and I just love it but it's not translucent and I was on holiday in a hot country so as I was getting browner I couldn't wear this because it was a light, it's a light powder, it's not translucent so I would kind of apply like a darker foundation and then put this on and it would just give me a white cast so I stopped using this after the first couple of days um, so a little bit stupid for me to take that but that's what I did. Um, what else have we got in here? Eyelash curlers because they're just a must. The blush that I took with me was the Clinique, in fact I took a few blushes but the one that I just pulled out is the Clinique Peach Pop blush and I love this blusher, it lasts so well, it's the most gorgeous colour and I just can't rave enough about it and it's tiny teeny packaging so it makes it great for travelling. I feel like I said I wasn't going to talk that fast but I feel like I'm talking mightily fast. <laughs> Just checking I've not missed anything in this pocket. Um, one of the lip products I took with me was my Barry M Matte Me Up Lip Crayon, which is a very nude toned lip crayon. It is matte, but it's moisturising, so it, it was just nice when I just wanted a touch of colour, but nothing too much. And then, moving into the other section, I have in here the Bourjois, um, the Bourjois Nail Polish Remover, and this is the holiday one, and I think I actually got this free, they, they had like a promotion on if you bought two products you got this free or something like that. So it's just like the tiny mini pot and this is great, it's great to remove nail polish, really good for travelling and I used this a couple of times when I needed to paint my nails which has just reminded me I have painted my nails today this colour um, because obviously I wanted to do this video and I don't want chip nails when I film. Um, this is actually the nail polish that I wore when I, whilst I was away, I went in a red one 
or a corally one um, and this is the one I took out with me but it's downstairs but it is the Maybelline 7 day nail polish in mint for life so it's just a really nice mint green colour. The two three bases that I took out with me were all very different. Um, the first one that I took was the L'Oreal Infallible Matte. Um, this is in the shade Vanilla, so I literally wore this for like the first or second day um, on its own and that was it. Then I was getting a little bit browner and I wanted more coverage. I was mixing it with the Rimmel Lasting Finish in 103 True Ivory, but even that was a little bit too light towards the end of the holiday. And I was finding that because I was getting colour and my freckles were coming out, I didn't want to cover it with foundation, I just didn't want that much coverage. Um, even today, even though I know I'm filming, I put a lot less foundation on than I usually do because I just want the colour to show through and my freckles. I don't know if you can see um, how many freckles I've got right now but they came out in full force while um, we were away and the last thing I took with me was the Garnier BB cream in light which I absolutely love I've raved about this on my channel before this is what I wore I just when I just wanted like a very sheer coverage um, and this helped my freckles show through and it just blended out quite nicely it's not too much coverage or color or anything like that it just helps perfect the skin um, or make it look a lot more perfected so that's what I took with me and I use this the most out of all of these three Mascara I took my CoverGirl the Super Sizer which you should all know by now I am absolutely loving this mascara. Another blusher is Rimmel's Santa Rose. This is just a very light pink colour and I just wanted this for the days where I wasn't wearing a lot of makeup and I wanted a very non-offensive blusher. Concealers. Another bit of a daft thing on my part. I took the Clarins Instant Concealer which is so brightening and um, I did use it for the first half of the holiday but then again I got so dark that I had to move on to this which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin and I've got this in the shade Light. This was a much better match for me under my eyes when I got a little bit darker but these are two of my favourite concealers and um, that's why they made it into the bag. I took my MAC Pink Pot in Painterly with me as an eyeshadow base because this is just the best eyeshadow primer that I've ever tried. Um, it's a cream eyeshadow but it just works great at neutralising out my eyelids and helping my eyeshadow stay on a lot longer and in a hot climate it was like 30 degrees most days so that worked a treat and the eyeshadows that I took with me, one of them um, is a palette and it is the Stila Soul Palette, the Eyes Are The Window Shadow Palette. Um, so it's gorgeous gold packaging like this and then in here you've got four, eight, 12 different shades. This was just great because it meant I could create any different eye look that I wanted to um, and I had a lot of choice. For my brows I took my Soap & Glory Archery Pencil and my L'Oreal Brow Gel thing and on days where I didn't want a lot of makeup, I just combed some of this through. Um, on days where I wanted a little bit more, I would use this. I'll just talk about the last few eye products that I've got and then I'll move on to the lip products and that's everything. Um, so the first thing that I've got is an eyeliner by Urban Decay and this is one of their 24-7 Glide On pencils in the shade West. This is a kind of shimmery charcoal brown colour. Then I took my Kate Moss. Um, I should have stick by Rimmel in the shade Rose Gold because I love this and I think it's a perfect summery colour, really easy to whack on and just blend out with your finger, doesn't take much time and lasts a really long time. And then similar to that I took two more eyeshadow sticks and the first one is by Kiko and this is in the shade 06 and this is just a gorgeous gold colour. Um, so again just really nice for that kind of like sun kissed look and um, just easy to apply. And then the last one, which is the most expensive, is by Terry Ombre Black Star, and this is in the shade Misty Rock. And this is a really gorgeous, kind of very light silvery purple um, that I've used in one of my recent Get Ready With Me videos that actually went up last night. So if you haven't already seen that, I'll link it around here and you can see that in action. The last lip products that I took with me, I took MAC Saw Lip Liner, just if I wanted a bit more of a kind of bolder lip without it being bold. Um, it's one of my favourite lip liner colours. It's just a very nice new dish deep pinky purpley colour. Um, very Kylie Jenner-esque. And then I also took Max Cream Cut which is probably my favourite 
um, lipstick from MAC, or it was, it was the first one that I ever bought, but I don't know if Mare it by MAC is overtaking it now in the favourites department, but I took this as a very kind of baby pink colour to wear, so that was easy to wear with quite a lot of outfits. And then another, the last one that I took with me was the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet in the shade 03, and I think it's called... Yeah, hot pepper. This is actually what I'm wearing today, and I wore this, I think, twice on holiday. Um, I loved it. I The picture that I put on Instagram when I was wearing a denim jacket and a striped dress was this um, lipstick that I was wearing. So that's everything I took away with me. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing what I took with me, and I will see you tomorrow because I'm gonna be uploading every single day this week until Sunday. So I will see you tomorrow. Please like and subscribe if you did, and thank you for watching. Bye.